Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out from Russia to share with you. We have these reports that Ukraine has struck a massive drone warehouse inside of Okyabirsky in the Krasnodar region. This is in southwestern Russia. And I literally just reported to you guys earlier this morning that Ukraine struck the 67th GRAU arsenal up in the Bryansk region. I think it was like northeastern Bryansk region of Russia and completely destroyed that site. Massive secondary explosions were observed at the time of that explosion when I showed you guys that video this morning. If you haven't seen it, hop on over to my page and go and check it out. It was like the second to last video that I put out just earlier this morning. So now it looks like another massive attack taking place inside of Russia, this time in the Krasnodar region. And from what's being reported is 400 strike drones were stored at this facility. I believe this was a Russian base as well that was also attacked. And from what's being reported, some people are saying this was drones that struck this facility. And then some people are also saying it was a Neptune missile that was being used. And this is several reports now that we've been hearing that Neptune missiles may have been used in some of these strikes, just like the Feodosia uh, oil terminal down in the Crimea region uh, that we reported on just a few days ago. Apparently that may have been struck by Neptune missiles. Now what's being reported here is this could have been uh, Neptune missiles as well, or at least at the bare minimum drones were being used to strike this place and a massive explosion as you can see here in the video footage. So right, uh, real quick, before we get into the news, just want to let you guys know again, just bear with me. I am still feeling a little bit under the weather. If you didn't watch my other videos, I'm not feeling too well today. I am sick right now, so bear with me if I'm having trouble speaking. So let's try our best to get in through this and report the news to you. So let me start out with this quick report from Reuters to share with you what uh, mainstream news is reporting. It says here from Reuters, Ukraine's military says it hit base storing drones in southern Russia. This came out today, October 9th, 2024. Ukraine's military said on Wednesday its forces had struck a base in southern Russia's Krasnodar region, storing Shahid drones, scoring several hits. A statement by the general staff said that attack uh, was carried out jointly by naval forces and the SBU intelligence service near the settlement of Oktyabrsky, north of the city of Krasnodar. According to available information, Nearly 400 strike drones were stored there. Look at that, guys. 400 drones stored at this facility. The statement said, based on objective control results, a direct hit was made on the target. Secondary explosions were observed at the site. Okay, so massive explosion here inside of the Krasnodar region of Russia. And I've got the video footage to show you guys. But real quick, I want to hop on over here to a map and just kind of show you where about uh, this attack took place. We don't have the exact coordinates of the location where it was destroyed, but I have the uh, region that shows that came under attack here by potentially either Neptune missiles or uh, Ukrainian drones, okay? So here's Ukraine right here. Here's Russian territory. So we're gonna zoom in down here to the Krasnodar region. Here's the city of Krasnodar in that report uh, from, uh, from Reuters said that it was just north of Krasnodar. So if we zoom in up here to this little red spot, Here's the city, or town, I guess I should say, of Oktyabrsky, not a very big town, but apparently this uh, storage facility, according to Reuters, is reporting that it happened here in the town of Oktyabrsky, which again is just north of the city of Krasnodar down here. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can see there better just north. But some other sources on X as well are reporting that this attack either took place in Yeysk or very close to it, which... Uh, seems about the, the same region, okay? Oktyabrsky is right here. Here's Yeysk over here, so not too far away, maybe uh, 30 kilometers away, 40 kilometers, something like that from each other. So definitely somewhere in this region over here is where this thing was hit, based on my knowledge here that I have on this attack. So here's kind of uh, just an overview of where it was located uh, on a map. So we'll move on to X now. I've got a couple of reports here to go over with you. And then we're also going to discuss something from Vladimir Zelensky today as well. He came out and announced the first phase of the victory plan that they have uh, to try to end this war with Russia. So we're going to be discussing that as well briefly towards the end of this video. But I've got two videos I want to show you from the explosions. This is that first video that I had for you guys on the waiting screen when you came in. But we're going to watch it full screen with sound so you can hear the explosion in the background. So from Ozen Technical... Earlier this evening, Ukrainian Navy R-360 Neptune cruise missiles slammed into a Russian storage facility outside of Yeysk, 
reportedly housing hundreds of Shahid 136 attack drones. Secondary explosions and fire continue to consume the complex. So as you see here, uh, it's reported that uh, Ukrainian Navy R-360 Neptune cruise missiles were reportedly used in this attack. And uh, this makes sense considering that the report that we had from Reuters said that uh, it was part of Ukrainian's Navy that attacked this place. So it's very possible this was their Neptune missiles that were used. So we've got a 23 second clip to show you here of the massive blaze of this facility as it was hit. So take a look. pretty crazy right so we can see this massive explosion here look at all that fire guys and then if you notice this car over here too he was driving really fast because he was probably so close to that storage warehouse that was exploding and if you notice he even screeched his tires a little bit right before he went around this white car right here so obviously people were freaking out in this area too when they heard this thing explode and uh, clearly the person recording was inside of their vehicle at the time too uh, showing this on camera for us so we've got uh, one more video coming up here from Igor Sushko, Russia, Ukrainian forces destroyed a Shahid drone storage site at a military base in Yeysk, Krasnodar Krai. Okay, so down in the Krasnodar region. So again, they're reporting in Yeysk. Some people are saying in Yeysk, in the outskirts of Yeysk, in Oktyabrsky. So we don't know exactly where this was at, but definitely somewhere in that region of Oktyabrsky and uh, Yeysk is what's being reported. So we've got a minute and 17 second clip. I want to show the whole thing as towards the end, you guys are going to see a secondary explosion as well from this facility, from uh, some of the drones that were exploding later on during the process of this fire. So take a look at this. Ой, сейчас опять рванет. Ой, какой огонь. Обалдеть. Обалдеть. Творится что. Okay, so I'm pretty sure many of us were not expecting to see that secondary explosion there. There was actually two of them towards the end, and they were a lot bigger than I was expecting to see as I was watching this earlier. Uh, it started off just as a small fire, and then all of a sudden we had these huge secondary explosions. So that's probably those Shahid drones exploding. So very crazy. Looks like Ukraine is just striking targets all over Russia right now. And if you notice, what we've been seeing lately is lots of reports of these Neptune missiles being used. As Ukraine recently came out and said they had tested uh, some of their long-range uh, cruise missiles, their Neptune missiles, and they are now being used. So we're probably going to be seeing a lot of targets inside of Russia being struck here over the coming weeks, and this could definitely be part of the victory plan. But now I want to move on and talk about that a little bit. So we've got this report here from War Translated Dimitri and a video from him. We're not going to show the video here as uh, it pretty much explains everything he was talking about right here. There's no real need to show this two-minute clip of Vladimir Zelensky speaking. Uh, but it says here, victory plan has almost nothing to do with Russia, Zelensky says. The president of Ukraine said this at a press conference after the Ukraine Southeast Europe, uh, Europe summit, excuse me, and talks with Croatian Prime Minister Andrei uh, Plenković, if, if that's correct, hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Zelensky clarified that support for the plan to win and strengthen Ukraine depends entirely on the political will of the partners. So I wanted to show you this as uh, 
Many people might believe that the victory plan has something to do with, you know, forcing Russia to to uh, come to the drawing table with Ukraine and, and negotiate end this war. Well, I had that kind of uh, that understanding with the whole victory plan for a while that this was kind of the, the idea is because Vladimir Zelensky would come out sometimes and say that, you know, we need to strike inside of Russian territory. We need to strike their airfields and whatnot to, uh, you know, to push um, Vladimir Putin into a corner and make him uh, negotiate with Russia and end this war kind of is, is what uh, Vladimir Zelensky has been saying recently. But now he's coming out and saying that his victory plan has nothing to do with Russia. It's primarily about strengthening Ukraine and um, and providing, you know, air defense systems or whatever it might be. And one of the biggest things is we're, uh, we're going to talk about right now is them joining NATO. So I have this report here as well that I want to talk to you about just briefly. It's from Ukrainska Pravda. Zelensky reveals first step of Ukraine's victory plan. This came out today, October 9th, 2024. It says right here, President Vladimir Zelensky has said the first step in his victory plan is to invite Ukraine to join NATO. So that's obviously huge, right? If Ukraine uh, joined NATO, they, they would have the protection umbrella uh, by Article 5 and NATO partners to uh, protect uh, uh, protect Ukraine, excuse me, if they were to come under attack by Russia. So obviously this is something that uh, NATO has been talking about for a very long time to bring Ukraine into uh, NATO. And obviously, I think they would be a huge asset to NATO, considering they have lots of experience fighting against Russia as well. So that appears to be one of the first steps that Vladimir Zelensky has announced is them joining NATO. So Zelensky, in a public speech next to Croatian Prime Minister uh, Andrei Plenkovich, as reported by European Pravda, Vladimir Zelensky once again spoke about Ukraine's victory plan, which he already presented to U.S. President Joe Biden and is now presenting to other leaders and noted that if fully implemented, Russia would lose the ability to threaten Ukraine or anyone else in Europe. This first step of the plan focuses on whether the problem of geopolitical uncertainty in Europe will be resolved, whether Ukraine will get a seat in NATO, if so, and if this is properly confirmed, Putin will lose from a geopolitical point of view. Russia must recognize that Europe has borders and independent states, and everyone has the right to choose their future. The truth is that Russia's acceptance of this reality can only begin with the realization that Ukraine will never be conquered by Russia again. There will be uh, there will be no peace without geopolitical certainty. The president also said that he sees a chance in the coming months to lay the preconditions for the Russian-Ukrainian uh, war to end in 2025 on terms acceptable to Ukraine, and this requires bold decisions by Ukraine's most influential allies. So if you notice, he talks a lot about how the allies have very important decisions to make in regards to Ukraine, that it uh, that it's ultimately this whole victory plan relies on the decisions that uh, Ukrainian partners make. So obviously them joining NATO is a big part of this, and that, that happens to be one of the first things that he has announced in terms of his victory plan. And apparently he was supposed to announce this at the Ramstein meeting in Germany that was supposed to be taking place this week. But uh, we had uh, President Joe Biden cancel his trip supposedly due to the hurricane that's supposed to be smashing into Florida today. So uh, very big news in regards to this war in Ukraine. I just wanted to share some of the latest updates coming out from this. So yeah, in, in regards to uh, Ukraine with their victory plan, looks like the first step is for them to join NATO. Let's see if that happens here in the coming weeks or months. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes sooner than later, as uh, NATO's been definitely talking about that a lot lately. So I hope you got something out of this update. If you did, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.